Hello everyone, this is Mamta Mund and today we are going to solve some self-practice exercise questions 1 to 5, self-practice 1F of chapter 1, chapter name is Knowing Our Numbers of class 6 of New Learning Composite Mathematics Textbook. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel then please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for getting notifications of future videos and please visit my blog mathgrade.com for more information regarding the textbook solutions of CBC, ICC and other state boards. Let's get started and solve some questions. Today we will learn and solve self-practice exercise questions 1F, questions 1 to 5, self-practice 1F and chapter name is knowing our numbers and topics are estimating sum, estimating difference, estimating product and estimating questions. Let's solve some questions. Now question number 1. Estimate the sum. First we take 68 plus 53. We have to first round up this number 68 and 53 to the nearest 10. Then we add these numbers. In 68 the unit digit is 8 which is more than 5. So when we round up the number to the nearest 10 then first the unit digit uh, add 1 to the tens place digit that is 6, 6 plus 1 is 7 and write 0 to the units place. So this will be 68 changes to 8 changes to 0. So 68 rounded off, rounded off to the nearest 10 will be 70. Here 6, 6 plus 1 is 7. Here 6 plus 1 is 7. And this 8 changes to 0. In unit place change to 0. So 68 rounded off to the nearest 10 is 70. Now 53. When we round uh, when we rounded the number 53, first look at the unit place digit. Your unit place digit is 3, which is less than 5. So when we rounded up to the number to the unit uh, to the nearest 10, add here uh, 3 is less than 5. So so uh, don't add 1 to the tens place digit and write down 0 at the unit place digit. So 5 don't change. 5 to 6, 5 plus 1, just write down 5 as it is. And this 3 changes to 0. So 53 rounded up to the nearest 10 is 50, 50. So 53 rounded up to the nearest 10 is 50. Now 68 plus 50. 68 rounded up to the nearest 10 is 70. Now this 70. And this 53 rounded up to the nearest 10 is 50. So 70 plus 50 is 120. And 120 is the answer. So see, estimating the sum 68 plus 53 is 120. And if you have not watched that video, that is 1E, in self practice, 1E, estimate rounded off to the nearest 10, nearest 100, and nearest 1000, I have already solved, solved that problems. Please watch that playlist. Rounded off to the nearest 10, 100, and 1000. Now question number second bit B. 466 plus 325. First round, uh, rounded of this number to the nearest 100. This is a three digits number. So first rounded of this 466 and 325 to the nearest 100. In 466 when we rounded up a number to the nearest 100 just look at the first tens place digit. Your tens place digit is 6. 6 is more than 5. So just add 1 to the 100 plus digit here 4. 100 plus digit is 4. 4 plus 1 is 5. And write down 0 in tens place and unit plus digit. So 6 change to 0 and this 6 unit plus digit 6 change to 0. So 466 rounded off to the nearest 100 is 4 changes to 5. So 5, 6 changes to 0 tens plus digit. And this unit plus digit 6 changes to 0. So 466 rounded off to the nearest 100 is 500. Now 325. 325. Your tens place digit is 2. And 2 is less than 5. So don't add 1 to the 100 plus digit. Here 3. Write down 3 as it is. 
and this tens place digit and unit place digit changes to zero. So two changes to zero and five changes to zero. So three hundred twenty five rounded off to this number to the nearest hundred is three hundred. Now four hundred sixty-six rounded up to the nearest hundred is five hundred, and three hundred twenty-five rounded up to the nearest hundred is three hundred. Now add this value. That is four hundred sixty-six rounded up to the nearest hundred is five hundred, and three hundred twenty-five rounded up to the nearest hundred is three hundred. Now five hundred plus three hundred is eight hundred. And this is the answer. So estimating the sum four hundred sixty six plus three hundred twenty five is eight hundred, and eight hundred is the answer. Now question number third bit C one thousand six hundred ninety three plus four thousand five hundred nine. We have to round it up this number to the thousand place. Here this is a four digit number, so this this number rounded up to the nearest thousand. So one thousand six hundred ninety-three. When we rounded off a number to the nearest thousand, just look at the thousand hundred plus digit. Here hundred plus digit is six, and six is more than five. So just add one to the thousand plus digit. This one thousand plus digit one changes to one plus one, that is two. And this and hundred plus digit, tens plus digit, and Unit place digits changes to zero. So six changes to zero, nine changes to zero, and these three changes to zero. So one thousand six hundred ninety-three changes to two thousand. So one one thousand six hundred ninety-three rounded up to the nearest thousand is two thousand. Now uh, four thousand five hundred nine rounded up to the nearest thousand. Here. Unit plane here hundred plus digit is five. In four thousand five hundred nine, unit this five hundred plus digit is five, which is equal to five. So just add one to the thousand plus digit. Here thousand plus digit is four, so four changes to four plus one. Four plus one is five, and this five hundred plus digit five changes to zero, and this. Tens place digit changes to zero, and unit place digit changes to zero. Now four thousand five hundred nine rounded up to the nearest one thousand is this four changes to five, five and this hundred place, tens place and unit place changes to zero. So four thousand five hundred nine rounded up to the nearest one nearest thousand is five thousand. Now add this number. One thousand six hundred ninety-three. Now rounded up to the nearest thousand is two thousand. Two thousand plus this four thousand five hundred nine rounded up to, to the nearest thousand is five thousand. Now two thousand plus five thousand is seven thousand. And seven thousand is the answer. So one thousand six hundred ninety-three plus four thousand five hundred nine. Estimating this number is seven thousand. Seven thousand is the answer. Now question number fourth bit D. Eight thousand three hundred seventy-nine plus two hundred sixty-four. In first we have to round it up this number eight thousand three hundred seventy-nine to the thousand place. Here eight thousand three hundred seventy-nine. Here, the hundred plus digit is three, and three is less than five. So, uh, don't add one to the thousand plus digit. Just write down the thousand plus digit eight as it is, and this hundred plus digit three changes to zero, and this seven changes to zero tens plus digit, and uh, unit plus digit nine changes to zero. So, eight thousand three hundred seventy nine rounded up to the nearest thousand is. Eight thousand. Now two hundred sixty-four. In two hundred sixty-four, rounded up to the nearest hundred. Here, uh, tens place digit is six, and six is more than five. So just add one to the hundred place digit. Here, two changes to two plus one, that is three. 
and this six transplace digit six changes to zero, and this four changes to zero. So 264 rounded off to the nearest hundred will be 300. Now 8379 rounded off to the thousand is 8000. And this 264 rounded up to the nearest 100 is 300. And 8000 plus 300 is 8300. And 8300 is the answer. Now EB. 27,619 plus 53,987. This is a 5 digit number. First we rounded off this number to the 10,000 place. In 27,619, the 10,000 place is 2. When we rounded off a number to the 10,000 place, first look at the 1,000 place digit. The 1,000 place digit is 7. 7 is more than 5. So just add 1 to the 10,000 place. Your 2, 10,000 place digit is 2. 2 changes to 2 plus 1. 2 plus 1 is 3 and write down 0 in 1000 place digit so 7 changes to 0 and this 100 place digit 6 changes to 0 this 1 unit place digit changes to 10 place digit 1 changes to 0 and unit place digit 9 changes to 0 now 27619 rounded up to the 10,000 uh, rounded up to 10,000 place. This number is 3. This 2 changes to 3 and 0, 0, 0, 0. So 30,000. Now 27,619 rounded up to the 10,000 is 30,000. Now uh, 53,987. In 53,987, the 10,000 place is 3. 10,000 place digit is 3 and 3 is less than 5. So don't add 1 to the 10,000 uh, 10, place. So write down 5 as it is and write 0. Write 0 in 1,000 place digit. And on, in, uh, in 100 place digit also write down 0. In tens place digit write down 0 and 7 unit place digit write down 0. So 53,987 rounded off to the 10,000 place is 50,000. Now add this number 30,000 plus 50,000. 30,000 plus 50,000 is 80,000. And 80,000 is the answer. So estimating the sum 27,619 plus 63,987 is 80,000. And 80,000 is the
if you have not subscribed my youtube channel then please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any doubt then please write in comment section and i will reply keep learning keep watching and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you